Hi, I'm going to give you a few minutes of tour to show you how to set up Voyager 1 wireless network camera. First, I will assume you have an internet wireless router, an internet modem ready, and up running. Either DSL or cable modem will be fine. Now let's power up Voyager 1 by plugging the power cable. And then insert the Ethernet cable into Voyager 1. After that, you may plug the other end into any available port from the back panel of the wireless router. You may check the Ethernet port LED light from the front panel of the wireless router. And if it is on, then it means Voyager 1 is up running and connect to the wireless router. Now let's move to a PC which is already connected to the wireless router. You may insert the Voyager 1 CD-ROM. There's an IP finder software inside. Or you may download this software anytime at a center website. IP finder is a software to help you to find Voyager 1's internet address. You may store the software at the desktop by dragging the icon to the desk for the future purpose. After that, you may click the IP finder and you will see that it found the Voyager 1 is alive on the internet address at 192.168.1.101. Please note that the other address in the format of 169.254.143.219 is a Voyager wireless port temporary address. Let's bring up Voyager 1 by using this wild internet address. By doing that, simply double click 192.68. 1.101 from the IP Finder window. Then a browser will be up and running and connect to Voyager 1. And default username root and the password root is required in order to get into the management page. After that, you can change your preferred username and password later. After login, you should see the live video from the management page. And it means you are connecting the Voyager 1. You may click the setting to configure your wireless. You are required to click Network and Wireless to get into the wireless setting page. From the setting page, you can scan the available wireless router near the Voyager 1. Here I found AWRT600N is my router, and I simply clicked or highlight the AWRT600N. The router information will be automatically populated into the wireless field below. You may continue to click the Show All button and the entire wireless network setting will be listed at once. Since my router does not require any Wi-Fi encryption, so there's no authentication type. Otherwise, follow the Wi-Fi encryption requirement to enter the keys. In this case, we just simply click Connect button and then connect to AWRT600N. It will show Trying to Connect message and a pop-up window say OK when it is connected. When Voyager 1 is connected on wireless, the router will gland Voyager 1 a working internet address 192.168.1.102. It means it is connected. Now you may unplug the Ethernet cable from Voyager 1 and relocate Voyager 1 to your ideal installation location and start to use wireless to view the camera. You may require to adjust your location to make sure the wireless signal is acceptable range. Now let's go back to our computer to see camera from wireless. Again, double click wireless port 192.168.1.102 from the IP finder and you'll be required to enter the username and password again as used to. And after that, you should see the live video from Voyager 1. Thank you.